Hello, my name is Texturman and today I'm going to show you how to create lightning for product visualization like this in Keyshot. I'm not gonna lie, there have been a lot of, I mean a lot of requests from you guys that you wanna see tutorial about how to create lightning for watches like Rolex or Omega. But before we start working on this render, I'm going to mention that you can download all the project files and you can support this channel through my Patreon page, link is in the description. Let's start render. This is how it looks when we import our 3D model into the key shot. And of course, the first word is ugly. And I know it looks really ugly, but this is the basic lightning and basic environment. You can find this environment right here in this tab environment. All right. And this is the basic startup HDRI image. So you can find this HDRI in this environment tab. You are going to the studio folder. You are going to scroll down and this is the lightning. There is a couple iteration of this lightning with a little bit more contrast, as you can see. Now, of course, we can try to browse different HDRI image maps, which are built in into the key shot, which are basically presets. And we can also rotate this HDRI image to create a little bit more interesting visual style. But to be honest, these are really basics. They are not going to provide all the information for this 3D model and we are not going to achieve the same looks as the Rolex website or official renders. We need to create our own custom lightning. So I'm going to apply again the startup HDRI and I'm going to set this to zero. And I'm just going to mention these materials are all the basics and you can find them in the key shot under this metal folder. And you are going to the stainless steel and I use these two. Stainless steel brush it fine. All right, for the brush it parts. And I use this stainless steel polish head for the polish head parts. So these are the basic materials. It's a really basic scene. Only thing we are going to change is the lightning and the camera view. So we are going to the camera. I already set up the camera and I'm going to click on my camera, main camera. So this is the different angle. It's much more interesting and it's a little bit more similar from the Rolex website. Now we are going to the environment tab to create the brand new lightning. So we're trying to create something to like this, which looks much more professional and we need to create new environment. So click on this button, which is add new environment. We are going to change the name to main environment, just like this. And we are going to change the background color to be completely black. All right. And we are going to turn off all of these. We don't need any ground shadows or ground reflection right now. All right. And now we are going to the HDRI editor. We are going to set up the high resolution and we are going to choose the background color or I would say color of this canvas to be completely black. So there is no light visible in this viewport. And now we are going to create our first light or I would say first pin, which is the same. And we are going to click on this button, which is add new pin. And you can see it looks much more better. And we are going to move this pin a little bit more up like this. All right. Cause we are trying to highlight the part on the top and we can move this light on this canvas, right? Like this, or we can use these sliders to move this light. Or we can click on this button, which is set highlight. And now we are just going to click on the part of the watch and we are going to highlight exact same part. All right. So I need this light to be completely in the middle and I like to use this slider. So now it's completely in the middle and I need just half of the size of this light. And also I need soft edges, not this hard. So I'm going to turn off this fall of the one and you can see we got now soft edges. And I'm going to bring this light much more up just like this. All right. You see, this is looking really good. And we got like this uh, light coming from top of the top of the watch. And it's really nice effect on these pointers, pointers right here and on this clock face. Let's bring brightness a little bit more up just like this. All right. This is too much. So maybe just like this. This is good. I'm going to add new pin and you can already see the problem when we are going to add new pin. If you are going to make this pin even bigger, you are going to make bigger problem. That means 
we are losing control over this scene. If you are going to create big pins, we are going to highlight or light up too many parts at once. And that's really bad because we are trying to create really precise lightning. So this time we are not going to use just four or five pins, but we are going to use 20, 25 pins, but they are going to be much more smaller like this. So we are going to highlight individual parts and we are going to create much more precise lightning for these parts. All right. So I'm going to delete this pin. And I'm rather going to duplicate this one and I'm going to bring this one to the left side and I'm going much more up just like this. So I'm trying to highlight these top parts and you can see it looks much more better. I'm just going to make this brightness one again and I'm going to duplicate this pin, bring it a little bit more down just like this and I'm going to make it a little bit more up. I'm going to make it smaller just a little bit maybe like this this is really nice and also i'm going to change this brightness to something to like this all right and i'm going to duplicate this pin again and i'm going down i'm going to make sure it's this is in the middle and i'm going much more down just like this or actually maybe i'm going a little bit more up maybe like this all right i'm going to make this pin bigger and i'm also going to increase this brightness just like this all right and now we are going to light up these left and right part so i'm going to create new pin so add new pin all right and you know what i'm going to Turn off this lightning and I'm going to, I'm going to, all right, I'm going to turn off these lights so I can see what's happening with this one. And I'm going to make it much more smaller. I'm going to increase my brightness. I'm going to make the fall off. All right. I'm actually going to use much more big of fall off. All right. So these edges are completely soft and I'm going to bring these something to like this all right maybe like this and also i'm going to bring this a little bit more up all right just like this and you can see we create the lightning on this side and i'm going to duplicate this pin and i'm just going to put here negative value so i'm going to mirror this light on the other side and maybe I'm just going to move it a little bit more to the left, just like this. And actually maybe a little bit more up. All right, this looks really nice. Yeah, that's really good. All right, add new pin. And we are going to make it smaller. Again, we are going to use the fall off to create the soft light. And maybe I'm going to decrease this brightness a little bit more and I'm going to bring this light just like this. I'm trying to highlight this area right here and I'm going to use these sliders. So maybe like this and I'm going to bring it a little bit more down. All right, maybe up, even more up just like this. This is really nice. All right, and maybe a little bit more left. Yeah, this is looking really good. And I'm going to duplicate this light and I'm going to make this positive value. And you can see we got it exactly on the other side and we highlight this part right here. So I'm going to duplicate this light and I'm going to bring this light something to like this. All right, and Actually, I'm going to make it much more smaller. All right, this is good. And I'm going to bring this like this and a little bit more down. Yeah, this looks good. And I'm going to duplicate this light. I'm going to bring it completely down just like this. And maybe I'm going a little bit more up. All right, just like this. And this looks really good. I'm going to turn off 
all this lightning so i'm going to make sure it looks good yeah it start looking really nice all right i'm going to turn off this lightning completely all right and yeah i'm going to create the another pin so add new pin we are going to make this pin smaller we are also going to decrease brightness so maybe like this and we are going to use the fall off to make the soft edge and the soft light and i'm going to bring this light maybe like this all right and i'm trying to highlight these this crown or these edges all right so maybe a little bit more to the left and a little bit more up all right and i'm just going to duplicate this light and i'm going to make this positive value and we completely mirror this light on the other side and i'm also going to duplicate this light bring it a little bit more down all right just like this and maybe a little bit more to the left side and i'm going down or up i'm just trying to find the good spot so maybe like this all right this is really nice so again duplicate and we are going to make this negative value all right and you can see how it looks and we also giving a little bit more light into this clock face or dl and it's really good yeah this is the really nice lightning but i think we are missing couple light, couple lights on the left side and on the right side so i'm going to duplicate these light and i'm just going to bring it something to like this all right this is good but i'm going to use these sliders again so maybe more to the left all right and a little bit more up all right duplicate and we are going to make it positive all right yeah it looks really good so maybe a little bit more down sorry a little bit more to the left and a little bit more down all right all right this is really nice so we need to create a couple more lights and i'm going again turn off all of these all right so i'm going to add new lights and I'm going to change the size to 25. I'm also going to decrease this brightness. I need to create the soft light and I will try to highlight this bezel. So maybe like this, maybe like this. All right, this is looking actually really good. Yeah, maybe like this. So I'm going to use the sliders and I'm going a little bit down just like this all right and i'm going to duplicate this make this negative which is exact copy on the other side and i'm going to duplicate this light all right and i'm going to make this light much more smaller like this and maybe like this minus dirty something so maybe all right maybe more to the left all right this is really good so a little bit more down no a little bit more up this is too much so maybe like maybe like this all right duplicate this one again positive value so we got same copy on the other side and yeah this is how it looks this is how looks our bezel so i'm going to turn on all of these lightning so we can see what's going on and what's happening so i'm going to turn them on all right it looks really good and we got the lightning for our watches yeah i'm just going to check if we got everything yeah it looks really good i'm going to click on this done button and I'm going to render this HDRI map in high resolution so we get like the full preview. Yeah, looks really good. 
this is the final lightning, but we need to change a couple things to create even more realistic image. So we are going to the lightning tab. We are going to change these lighting presets to product. So we are going to use a little bit more power, a little bit more potential of the key shot to create better image. And we are also going to use the caustics. We are going to the image. We are going to add new image style. I'm going to choose the photographic mode and we are going to play with these values a little bit more. So we can use the linear, low contrast or high contrast. I'm going to use the high contrast. I'm also going to increase contrast right here. And we can also play with the exposure value. I'm not going to use it. And we can create much more warmer image. All right. Or much more cooler image. As you can see, this is like the cold style or cold metal image. All right, I'm not going to use it. I'm going to use this curve. This is exactly the same curve as in the Photoshop. So we are going to bring a little bit more shadows, a little bit more mid-tones like this. All right, I'm actually going to bring this a little bit more down, a little bit more up a little bit more up and a little bit more up as well. And you can see we got a little bit more contrast, a little bit more realistic, and it's a little bit more interesting as well. And now we are going to create ground reflection. This is very simple. We can create fake effect in the Photoshop, but we are going to create a realistic effect. So I'm going to add plane. I'm going to make this plane much more bigger, just like this, and I'm going to bring these plane a little bit more down, something to like this. I'm going to double click on this plane to change the material type to the ground. And I don't want to use the shadows. So I'm going to turn on this to the white and also I'm going to use the reflection. So maybe not completely white, a little bit more darker reflection to make it a little bit more different from the rest of the image. And I'm going to turn on this reflection contrast. I'm also going to click geometry below ground. So if I got any of the geometry be be behind this ground, it's going to be hidden, I would say. And we can also play with this roughness value to make this to make this reflection much more rough. All right, but I'm going to stick with the zero just like this. So this is how you can create the ground reflection effect, but I'm going to turn off this effect. So hide part, but we can bring it anytime if we want, but I'm going to hide this part. For me, it's better to create this in the Photoshop and you can save a little bit more time when you are going to render this image. Cause if you are going to turn on this reflection, you need to render this reflection, which costs you a little bit more time, but I'm going to hide this part. All right. And I'm going to the render setting and I'm going to use the PNG. I'm going to use the 4K resolution. I need the clown layer to adjust this image a little bit more in the Photoshop. And I'm going to the options and I'm going to use 200, sorry, 256 samples, 60, 16 rain bounces, anti-aliasing free, shadow free, global illumination free, caustics free. I'm going to turn on these sharp shadows, sharper texture filtering, but I'm going to turn off this global illumination cage because we want highest quality. And if I'm going to turn on this, we are going to introduce a little bit less quality in global illumination. All right. So we are going to render this image just like this. And this is basically it. This is the final visualization and we can just render the image. This is how it looks with all the retouching and the fake ground reflection. And this is our final visualization. Guys, thank you for watching. If you got any questions, let me know down in the comment section. If you want to support this channel, hit the like button and subscribe button. And if you want to download this 3D model, visit my Patreon page, link is in the description. So have a nice day and have a nice render. See you in the next one. Bye bye.